welcome you to the 2022 PLL All-Star Game on ESPN, presented by OutSystems. I don't know if there's many that can stop Jeff T, but Kyle Birdlore will try. Leads the PLL in save percentage, and he's been really good this season, Ryan. I love that we got a GoPro strapped to his helmet as well. Yeah, bounce back season for, for him for sure, and last year he won the goalie skills competition which is coming on later on today. And you're going to see plenty of great saves out of plays. Reardon, you might just see a goal. He's been known to get a little into the attack during an All-Star game. Oh, hopefully he gives the people what they want, the, the reigning MVP. His chaos team finally getting on the board with a win. Uh, you know, they're, they're kind of hiding in the weeds, just typical chaos style here at the midway point. So you're expecting a lot of guys to play defense who normally aren't there. Advantage offense behind the back. Just missed, fell to Blaze, and now Team Baptiste can launch a counterattack. That's that's an astute point, as you see the two saved easily by Burnlor is, is only one defensive midfield. So you got midfielders now playing offense and defense two-way. But I also think these they pick him up way outside <laughs> down. <laughs> after he scored the two-pointer earlier on the run. Jones rear back and fire, this time read well by Burnlore. Long outlet pass, somehow snuck by behind the back and trying to do a little too much there. Great save by Reardon. And a minute left now for Team Baptiste to add to their lead. And you know, Ryan Boyle said it earlier, Paul, but you can speak to this too. How big of a difference is it 15 to 13? Well, our stats team pulled next-gen info for us, and it showed that uh, the percentage of goals go in about 14 for a reason to see a, a big enough delta. Mm -hmm. And I, honestly, I like the action that's come out of this first quarter, but... You, you know, one thing that doesn't get talked a lot about Dennis, is why did you leave it to the fans to vote, and why is that important to you guys? Well, the mission at the PLL is to trailblaze the future of professional sports that's both player and fan focused. Our players have equity in the league. We're the only league in North America. Reardon again to the rescue. Team Farrell, it looks so easy on the other end, Paul. If you're in those black uniforms right now. Jack Rowlett can pull up. You got to get a spark somewhere. You know, what makes our broadcast, I think, better than any other professional sport is the access. Our games that does regular season. And right now, Blaze has shut the door. These guys are gripping their sticks. Asher Nolting just had a shot from four yards and missed the net. That means you're nervous about the goaltender. And I think Andy's the most aggressive coach in the PLL. So you know he's just looking at the clock. 50, 49. You try and score one here with Tara Fanko. Blaze snuffs him out. Oh. Defense to offense. Team Baptiste makes it look perfect. Team Farrell, <laughs> if the rest of this game has going to continue to play out, first of all, let's start with the just ultra quick hands by Blaze Reardon and then Danny Logan in transition for Team Baptiste coming out of the timeout 10 seconds left to the first half Burnler with go. a huge save opportunity got to hurry though three seconds left you got to heave it if you're manly not enough time for Team Farrell but they've got an entire second half the six saves in that first half and he's with quick casting down on the sideline all-star games aren't always goalie friendly. You survived, you actually did well. What was it like? History does show all-star games are goalie friendly. The last two all-star games, goalie MVPs, so. I don't know if Kyle would agree with that. Yeah, I, I feel bad for him. Uh, you know, all the stars started power, but uh, we, we talked about not letting the easy ones off ball, and to hold them to six in the first half of an all-star game, we'll take that all day. Yeah, you got a big smile. How do you best describe the challenge of, of the modern goalie playing in this pro league with such skill and such incredible velocity? Yeah, it's uh, simply an uphill battle, but, you know, a battle when you put together good quarters and good possessions that when you get to the top, it's, you know, the ultimate feeling. Um, you know, the, the, the odds are stacked against you, and uh, you take that challenge on head-to-head, -head and you don't shy away, and, you know, you trust your instincts and your skill. Thank you, Blaze. You got the ring. Cass got their first win a couple of weeks ago, and they are ready for the second half of the season. Yeah. 
Smith weaving his way in. Great save by Scannoni. Kicking it to Costabile. He settles it down. Finds Jones. Great save, Scannoni. And now Will May. Miles Jones on the run. Scannoni, another nice save. John Scannoni's done a really nice job stepping in as number one goalie for Chrome, part of their 4-1 run. The big shoes to fill with Galloway exiting, and he's been more than capable proving that he's a PLL starter. Yeah, and they had a lot of confidence in him in terms of being the heir apparent to Galloway. Over the course of a full season going into the postseason. He just might have made their bulletin board. Oh, boy. Oh, a denial by Scannoni. That would have been on Sports Center top 10 plays. Manley trying to go full field for the goal. The defense been snuffed out. Calling that a home game for ESPN. Bristol. Oh, hidden ball trick. Coming out of the timeout. Who's got it? Great job by Team Baptiste to sniff that out of them. The save by Con Cannon. Andy Towers is trying everything the old, he can. The old armadillo play. <laughs> Great save by Scannoni. Here's Newman sneaking in. Just won the fastest shot competition at halftime. Sets the pick, calls for it, steps in. What a save! We know that's gone at least 100. We just saw it at halftime. Progressive game flow. Look at the save by Jack Concannon out of Atlas to deny Newman. And Jones got enough in Newman's airspace there so he couldn't get that full wind up. Great swim dodge. Tees up Henningberg, trying to do a little too much with it. Pretty slick little move there by Henningberg, but Scannoni did a good job holding his pipe. The lone bright spot, six points for Team Farrell. Rookie out of Maryland. Won a national championship, won the tour. Time. Don't think he's going to win his first All-Star game. But, but that was the pathway. He found Shannon Chuck for a quality look, and another one there, but can Cannon... You can see him start to get in his comfort zone, and when he gets hot. Yeah. Certainly saw that out on Long Island. He started the game with 10 consecutive saves in the first half of the season. Bouncer from two, and Kikan is just locked in right now. They thought they'd get a little reprieve with Blaze out of the cage, but Kikan has been just as good. The stripe. He wouldn't know it by watching Farrell. He's still battling out there. His team down 20. And that was some strong on ball defense. Needed two. Can't get it past Kin Cannon. Team Farrell's yet to connect on a two. This is an 88. Almost witnessed Rambo do it again here in 2022. Off the foot of Scannoni. Holman just trying to pad the numbers to make sure that he's going to be the MVP. Play and Logan found me in uh, low angle, put it behind the back, which is very rare for me. And luckily, I got uh, Jack and Cannon on a bad day, I think. So We've been talking about this rookie class all show long. Challenge. You got four goalies staring down some of the best shooters in the world, kind of mano y mano. Each gets 12 shots. I just, I love seeing that. And also, it's kind of like, the backyard thing you do with your buddies. Yeah. One guy gets in net, everybody else is around the perimeter. Firing at him. Yeah. We got the accuracy Plank challenge. Is Trevor Baptiste. And his health, you know, how quickly can he get back? What is Atlas's ability to kind of weather that, that injury, that storm? Final minute of the All-Star game. Mitchell Quint said 
MVP, which will be announced after in our post-game show. So stay with us to hear that. It's behind the back. Mm. They are the defending champs, and they are back at full strength. Can they get some momentum? And as long as they punch their ticket to the playoffs. We saw what happened last year. Exactly. Exactly. They're still the reigning champs until they're not. Exactly. 